But yeah, I call this YOLO chess because um, I can't keep up with the pace at which Stockfish is playing. This is moving way faster than the official Lee Chess Stockfish. Ah! I can't commentate, guys. I, I need Zug to play this. Um, but you guys can see the speed at which this is playing, right? That's the whole point. That's what makes this so yellowish. Uh, shit. Shit! Oh, damn it. I lose on time. <coughs> uh, yeah. I'm thinking this one half... <laughs> this is absolutely ridiculous, by the way. Um, we're gonna try this again. <coughs> but this would work better if I had a mouse that actually worked, so... You'll have to forgive me for sucking. Um... Uh, damn it. I can't move the mouse fast enough to move the correct piece. By the time I've committed to a move, I've already committed the wrong thing. Uh, this is horrible. Awful. Don't take my rook. Don't take my pieces. Don't, don't make me, bro. Uh, shit. SHIT! Oh, okay. That makes it all better. Holy cow. <coughs> but yeah, see this? This is Stockfish Level 1 operating on my computer. Now I'm going to go over to Leeches. And we're going to play Level 1 on the Leeches server. And you might appreciate some differences. Um... So, uh, and you might have noticed by now, it doesn't move at exactly the same pace. Uh, shit. Okay, take that. Uh, no, I can't take anything. Let's go ahead hit the queen. Yeah, this stockfish plays a little bit better. Shit! Why would you attack my pieces? That's not cool. You think you're cool, but you're not. No, I can't take the queen. Oh, I went and take the rook. Okay, I'm. Ah, oh, shit. Don't take my queen, bro. Don't mate me, bro. All right. Um. My queen's hanging. I don't care. Yeah. Woo! <laughs> Holy moly. Um, what happened to the G-Pawn that game? This game? What G-Pawn? Um, I have no idea what happened this entire game. Let's do a computer analysis and figure out exactly what my average set of pawn loss was. Um... But yeah, maybe I could get somebody technically oriented. I don't know. Does anybody want to try on my chess engine? Which moves faster than Lee Chess. Alright. Here's... Let me see if that shows up in the graph. Or the... Yeah, okay, you guys can see that. Yeah, you see that's the evaluation graph. Um, mistakes were made. Mistakes were most definitely made. Um, but yeah, if somebody technically... Oh. Uh, why is this so different? Very good question, Railbird. Um, I think the difference is... So this is the official Lee Chess site. Uh, where they run, like... You see, like, all the menu items and all the ser uh all the games and simuls and tournaments and everything, the forums and all that, all runs on the same computer. They got tons and tons and tons of things happening on this master computer, this master Leeches server. So they can't afford to run the AI on the same server as they run everything else on. The AI is actually performed on a different server. And they actually... Uh, 
I'm sorry, a few servers are doing AI stuff, but not the master server. So, um, as entertaining as that is, uh, I have the benefit of having my own dedicated computer back at uh, where I live. So, I have my copy of Lee Chess, which I think has like two or three users, and I got the AI on there. And so, um, so, plus I have a ping time that's pretty unreal. Um, I don't know if you guys can see that or not. Apparently my connection to the server is faster than the server's connection to itself. I might be misunderstanding that. I probably am. Um, but yeah, the, this ping time is absolutely unreal. Compared to uh, ping time here where I'm going all the way over to uh, Europe. So this takes like an eighth of a second to um, ping the server there. Yeah, this graph, this is pretty fantastic. Uh, for those of you who just got here and missed that part of the game, my mouse was misbehaving as usual. Um, I note, I missed a chance previously here. Like, once this queen, I'm sorry, once the knight moved out of the way, that I had this discovery on the rook. So this is supposed to be brilliant because it blocks the attack from the rook, hits the queen, and attacks h1. So this is supposed to, at least against a human, this is an ingenious move. I just didn't see that I was attacking the rook. I'm just like, you know what, I need this knight closer to the king so I can threaten something. And it's pretty cool that this is pinned. Um, but... Yeah, this is only really justifiable if you see that the rooks attacked, and I didn't see that. I was just shuffling wood. And, um, I think most humans would have been freaked out and not take the knight with the pawn. Um, but yeah, I missed that I could just win a rook here. And, I mean, I moved one square away, and I'm thinking, gosh, my queen's no longer hanging. I could bring my rook out, I could maybe bring my other rook out and push d5 or something. Um, worse comes to worse. Um, and yeah. And then I start shuffling here, realizing like F7's hanging, so I can't really move this rook anyway. Um, and then I hang my queen, because after I moved here, I didn't see that, you know, I'm hanging it. Uh, then I took the bishop, which hangs my king. And I was just like, you know what, I don't have enough time to keep moving and leave my queen hanging, so I'm just going to risk it to win the biscuit. And Stockfish obliged. Um, so now I fork the king and the queen, which is absolutely ingenious. Um, uh, yeah, and then I hit the rook, which really doesn't do anything because this is pinned twice, and my queen's still hanging. Uh, I leave my queen hanging again just to make things dramatic. And again, because I'm running out of time and I have my mouse on top of the rook, so I had to move the rook. Um, and then by some miracle, oh, this is hilarious, I hang my queen, and Stockfish is like, no thank you, I don't want the queen. And then I mate with no time left. So that was a pretty solid game. This is YOLO chess. Um, doesn't get any more logical than that. So we're gonna try that again. Shit, shit, don't hang everything. No. Uh, wait, my queen's hanging. It's my move. It's my move. You can't stop me now. Oh crap. i take you. Why would you do that? No! No shit. Okay. Um, I'm going to see if I can trick it. Nope, no tricks. No tricks today. Wait, why? Oh, I, that's pinned. No! Oh, no. Oh, uh, shit. <coughs> there go all my pieces. You know what? I'm going to fork the king and the queen. Don't even ask. That's hope chess. Shit, shit, nope. Alright. 
Good game. <laughs> let's <laughs> let's analyze this one and see just how well we played. Pardon me, I have a mild cold at the moment. Um, statistical analysis of openings. Yeah, that would be epic. Um, you know, that kind of analytics is not yet available. I am interested in doing development for that kind of work. I just need to finish up all my AI stuff first. Um, now unfortunately, I'm spending so much of my AI development time doing testing because there's nobody else to test it for me. So, I'd like to get to that analytics stuff. Um, not just most commonly played openings, but all categories of data mining and analytics would be amazing. Um, so yeah, we had average center pawn loss of approximately three pawns per move. Um, I'm going to try my own Lee Chess instance again. Okay, don't kill me, don't kill me. Nope, take... Ah, move fast. Go. Oh, it's going to take my pieces. That's so mean. How dare it. Um, nope. Shit. Hey, I want a piece. Um, whew. Yeah, if anybody else would care to do testing, um, anybody with a technical background who knows, like, how to use a host's file. Uh, send me messages on Twitch and such, and I'll give you instructions on how to, <coughs> pardon me, how to access the server. So you too can enjoy the fun of um, this kind of nonsense. Oh, hang on. So, when I started this stream, um, I played a game and tried to get Stockfish to analyze it, and it wouldn't analyze. Let me try this. Let's try to analyze this and see if it crashes again. Now, I don't need this Stockfish. I just need um, this one. Yeah, we really need Zug out here. Because this... I mean... It would be awesome if I could create an AI that Zug would just struggle with. Um, and eventually overcome, but... Um, mm. Alright, so... Uh, the analysis already finished. But I see it's still going. Don't know what that's about. Um, so, let me try issuing some commands here. There's got to be a way that I can, um, hang on that I can force it to restart the analysis so I can see what's going on. Okay. Come on. All right, remove all cached analyses, start over. Um, um, but yeah, it'd be awesome to get Zug to do some testing for us, wouldn't it? Start analysis, damn it. How many times must I click the button? 
Well, uh, I appear to have uh, incurred the wrath of the Lee Chess Gods as I can no longer click the button. Oh, there we go. Button's clicked. Don't know why it's taken so long to even start the analysis here, but hopefully that'll start momentarily. Um, yeah, shoot. Maybe I've lost my internet connection. So, whereas I used to have a ping time that was, like, instantaneous, now that's not the case. Um, so if I refresh the page... Okay. So my analysis requests are just being ignored, I suppose. Um, analyze. Okay, I'm going to restart my Leechess instance and see if that helps at all. Not that it should, but maybe it will. Yeah, you know, I, I think my greatest aspiration here could be to just get one of those CAPTCHA puzzles out of these, you know? So, when I manage to beat the level 1 AI with such magnificent moves as Queen F7, I don't think it's going to ever be featured as a Lee Chess GM puzzle, but it very well could be featured as a CAPTCHA on the forums where people talk about puzzles. Man, there's so many things we could do AI-wise that are interesting. Um, I just have to get through the grunt work of testing all the stuff I've already done. I saw that earlier today, Zug was trying to do some troll chess work, development, something or other. Um, I'm guessing, as I predicted, he didn't have any success whatsoever with that. Just because it's really not easy at all. Especially when you don't have a sane development and test environment. Hmm. So my game analyzes practically instantly. We went through the whole game how quickly? At the rate of half a second per move. Yeah, it took nine seconds to get through the whole game. Um, except when it played moves out of the opening book, in which case it moved instantaneously. Um, I guess it's tripping up the analysis, is that... Um, Oh, it's just suggesting a best move without giving an evaluation. And, um, hmm. So maybe if I turn off the opening book, then analysis might be successful. Apparently it needs an evaluation for each position. So I'm going to turn off the book. Um, <laughs> yeah, coding real HS without knowing Scala um, would probably be difficult. I'll put it this way, I've been doing some Leechess development for a very long time here. Mainly focused on Stockfish, but occasionally having to try to read some Leela code and 
figure out how it works. Um, and um, hmm. You think I'm act I, I honestly I don't think I'm joking about that. Um, I think to get steam out of big picture mode, you have to close it. I don't know if there's a way to get out of big picture mode without closing it. Um, but that's just my perspective, and I mean, what do I know about technology anyway? But yeah, I interrupted myself, so I've been doing. Um, AI development and occasionally having to read LeechS code and modify it in some subtle ways and recommend ways in which it could be improved. Um, but for all the AI work I've done, I don't fully understand Scala. And Zug is just going in like he's not a software developer by trade and he's trying to learn one of the most difficult programming languages that there is to learn. Um, it's very feature rich, but it's a very difficult language. Um, so, all right. Uh, I've got to terminate this analysis forcibly. Certainly can do that. Okie dokie. Start it on up again. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Why is this not working? Um. It's because somewhere there's some castling nonsense that's throwing this off. Um, no, no, it's castling correctly, I think. Um, let's see. Yeah, at least right now it hasn't suggested any illegal castling moves. Um, it might have, who knows how long ago, but... Uh, I guess that would have been an hour ago, wouldn't it? Um, But yeah, I've got to debug what's going on here with the computer analysis, and um, fortunately I've got that board going in the lower left corner, and you guys can appreciate that, but, you know, I might just reserve the remainder of the debugging for off-stream stuff, and just continue playing some more quick chess here. Um, so let's play a couple more games and then figure out is this something I want to keep doing, or do I want to switch to something else? Um, yeah, we did not take my night stockfish. Is it going to move the queen? No, it doesn't move the queen. Why would it? No, don't take my pieces. That's so mean. You mean, meany, mean? Uh, shit. Okay. Um. Oh, nice. I lucked out, man. So lucky. No. Alright. And mate. Yeah, level 1 AI is difficult. Well, should I try level two, guys? Yeah, in fact, that's the plan. We're going to take this one level at a time until it actually wins one. And then maybe just call it there. 
Um, I want this knight. Give me the knight. Give me the knight. Uh, that's not giving it. Oh, dude! Why would you? Oh, I'm so confused. I'm so confused. No, no! I give up my queen. At least I get the knight. Okay, now it's gonna do something. Yeah, take the. Oh, come on! Really? Really, Stockfish? Are you that committed to playing second-rate moves the whole game? Damn it! All right, I can't beat level two. That's too bad. We'll try it one more, one more game, and then maybe get some rest or something. No, don't take my knight. Thank you. Yeah, checkmating stockfish is actually difficult. No matter what level it's playing on, it won't let you checkmate it. It'll fight on to the bitter end. Um... So, that makes these games just that much more challenging. No, it's going to play F4. Shit. No, it didn't. Wow. Wait, why didn't it play F4? I guess because F4 doesn't stop mate. But it does stop mate in 1. I've never seen it drop mate in 1 like that. So unless I had some other mate in one, I don't think I did. Um, that's just weird. All right, well, we're going to try level three. Here we go. You might notice that these games get more and more difficult. Hopefully you do. Oh, crap. Uh... Don't take all my pieces, pretty please. Shit, that's check. No, don't take my pieces. Big meanie meanie. Oh, crap. So, yeah. I think level three might be the final boss. I'll try a rematch, but um, I don't anticipate it'll go any better than this one. Um, damn it, you sneaky bastard. <laughs> oh, it's not me. Yeah, okay. You have thoroughly defeated me. Um, let's figure out just how badly I played that, and then we'll chalk it up and call it a stream. Yeah, this would be a different experience if I were um, at my other computer, which is more ergonomic. This is more, um, I don't know, relaxed, but harder to maneuver everything. And having a larger display where my cursor doesn't move as fast. Um, okay, so I didn't do too terribly. Uh, did blunder a few times, but... You know, that's what's going to happen. Um, so yeah, thanks to one and to all for watching. Uh, hopefully I'll get some rest and do some more coding. And, um, we'll be back and having some more fun doing chess sometime soon. I'm going to keep trying to get a hold of Zug Addict. We'll see how that goes. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching, and we'll see you around.